Anyway, let's get back on track. Um, Sony's new portable console, the NGP. Just what you're having technical difficulties. Okay, name, hardware, dual analog sticks, eh? Yeah, the name. Way to go forward with it, Edward. Um, it's going to be called, or it's codenamed the NGP, not the PSP2. What, Nintendo gaming platform? Next generation portable. It's the next gen, dude. Oh, oh, I feel so into the future now. Yeah, they're just, they got rid of the PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation is not next generation enough. We need to go into the future. They're going to, there's going to be two analog sticks. What a development. That's amazing. Ah, now we've got Chris's interest. Dual analog sticks. Um, but the crazy thing, the whole back of the device is going to be a touchpad. I'm slightly confused. So you know the back. Things have a front and a back, right? So you know the back. Like, think about backs, right? Yeah, and uh, the back is a touchpad. Touch-sensitive. Touch-sensitive backs. What do you think about that, Edward? Uh, I, I'll stick with the 3DS, son. So if someone tries to hold it and try to play with it, will it be like, intruder, intruder, alert? Um, no. Huh. Oh, it's going to be powerful. Looks like they're going to be able to run ports from the PS3 and Xbox 360. Sony is always well known for their powerful hardware, so I would not expect anything less amazing. This will probably have... I don't know, I heard that it'll have a two-core processor. So, I mean, it's almost like a portable supercomputer. There we go. They um, At their presentation, they're unveiling. They showed Metal Gear Solid 4 running on it. Unreal Engine 3. Definitely looks like the most powerful portable gaming device. Does this excite you, Edward? Yeah, it does, actually, but... That also makes me wonder about the price point. Sony's always known for uh, having really amazing prices. Not in a good way, though. Well, we'll talk about that in a bit. But first, um, let's get to some games. Anybody like Uncharted here? No. Nope. <laughs> How about Hot Shots Golf? I like Hot Shots Golf. Hot Shots Golf is good. But I don't think it would hugely benefit from the new technology. You just hit X. And then you hit X again. And then you hit X. And then you shoot the golf. You do a golf shot. Uh, Little Big Planet. There'll be another one of those. They're in plant plant fencing. And there's going to be a new wipeout. I'm just not going to talk about that Little Big Planet thing. I can't pronounce it. Implementing. There we go. There's going to be kill zone. Resistance. I don't... Anybody care about that? So far, not really a hit with the crowd here, all these games. Uh, a new new IPs, there's more of those, really, than the 3DS. This, you know what, nobody cares about this. I'm going to stop talking about it. Uh, there's going to be games. There will be games for the NGP. It, rumor price, 300 to 350 bucks for the Wi-Fi only version. Ah, all it is rather much for a portable, but you know, I guess you get what you pay for. Hopefully they'll drop it down by 100. Sounds like they're going to have a 3G version, so you can always be on the interwebs. Yeah, I guess it's kind of cool. All right. Wow, that was probably the worst segment we've ever had. Um, PlayStation games coming to Android... Oh, we're ready to go to disk space. Okay, faster, faster. PlayStation games on Android, PS1 games, um, cloud save, Valve Steam support. Now it's time for Tech Time with Edward. Get ready for your tech spurt. Edward had a Sheeta. He's going to school you on the tech. Okay, um, for the Canadians, people, Cana- Canadianos, we got, uh, we're going to implement maybe a new idea about usage-based billing, so basically, 
games are all very lucky to have unlimited downloads, but it seems that the greedy uh, internet service providers would like to implement a cap. So it would be uh, limited to a certain amount of download rate and only have a limited to like 60 gigabytes, which would suck a lot. So I signed a petition. I think a lot of people have. Around 400,000 other people have also signed the petition. And our amazing Prime Minister, Stephen Harper, is now looking into it. Yay! Yeah, progress is actually being made. And I think a couple of days ago, so that'd be February 3rd, February 2nd, the 4th, we ran out of IPv4 addresses. Internet hasn't broken down into chaos yet. Well, we'll see how that turns out. And uh, we're very slow to move on to the IPv6 standard. But, you know, if you're able to hear us today, then I guess hmm, the world's doing okay. Um, Unless we're handing out CDs on, like, Berard or something, then the world has gone pretty poorly. Yeah, hopefully we don't have to start handing out CDs. That kind of suck. So that would be kind of cool. We could just stand around, like, shady areas, handing out our video game podcast on discs. We, we, we'd probably get more views like that. <laughs> I think we get more people listening if we hand out discs than we do let people find it on the internet. That's true. Our our listener base not huge right now. Big member of our listener base, though, Chris McAfee, uh, apparently he's listened to every single one, which I find amazing. I haven't done that. Chris, why don't you tell us about that? Well, because there's nothing really else good to watch on YouTube, so I watch that, and uh, it's it's entertaining. It's, it's pretty good. Thank you, Chris. That's the kind of uh, fan we like. I think if we did have a fan club, though, I think Chris would be at the very top. I don't think there's a bigger fan than Chris. That's true, that's true. And that's why we have him on the podcast. You know, a, a thank you. Let him see behind the scenes on this operation. Thanks for having me. All right, perfect. Now back to uh, Tech Time with <laughs> Edward. Okay, um, Intel released their second generation called Sandy Bridge. I've talked about this before. I'm very proud of it, except for the fact that this month we found out there's been a huge recall. SATA ports 1 and 2 worked a OK, but everything after that seems to will show up a failure in due time. Where SATA ports, well, those are basically the plugs you plug your hard drive into. So that could mean in a year or two, your hard drive could die, which would mean data loss and lots of tears shed. So Intel has stopped all production of motherboards, which is rather shocking. And uh, new motherboards will be out by April. So yeah, if you have a uh, Sandy Bridge motherboard, it's probably messed up. You should get a, get a <laughs> refund. Yeah, I don't know. There is a, maybe they'll replace it in time. Or you can just, you can get by with two SATA ports. A lot of people do. And if you really need more than two SATA ports, you can, you can get a card. And I think they're handing them out for free. All right, perfect. Do we have any uh, other tech news on Tech Time with Edward? Oh, I'm getting word. No. So uh, it's Tech Time with Edward. Oh my lord, bitch Jesus, what is this sound? Can we just like cut it or something?